Hey Scorpio, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the end of March 2023 for my Scorpios out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what could be coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Of course, if you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, be sure to let me know. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. Um, Scorpio. Um, yeah, let's jump right in. You know, you can book a reading with me. All information is in the description box below. And your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. Okay? All right, Scorpio, what is going on? Let's start off with the one card challenge. Messages for Scorpio's highest and greatest good. What do they need to know pertaining to their love life? One card challenge for Scorpio. One card challenge for my Scorpio. We have the lovers, Gemini energy here. Maybe you're dealing with the Gemini. Obviously, there's a really strong soul connection you have with someone. Um, it's very magnetic, right? It's heavily felt. I feel like you both feel this. Now, the lovers talks about an opportunity here to come together, right? There's a decision, a choice to come together with the lover. So, um, you know, that's the challenge. So for some reason, is someone unwilling to make that decision? Is someone unwilling to surrender to this love connection? Is someone just fighting it, right? So let's jump right in. Let's see the recent past here. In the recent past, Scorpio, we have that 10 of cups. Very beautiful. We have that two of wands and the judgment. In the past, someone was definitely indecisive about moving forward with you. It was almost like there was an idea, plans, hopes, wishes, and dreams to come together and have that Ten of Cups. Family, that was definitely in the cards for you and your person. But I feel the Two of Wands and a Judgment is telling me that someone had a really difficult time with making that final decision, taking that next step in finalizing the relationship so the two wands could definitely be a lot of indecision going back and forth questioning doubting okay um and maybe there was two people two paths two opportunities someone had and maybe they didn't know what they wanted now the current energy scorpio is the two of cups in reverse there's been some kind of split there's been some kind of breakup maybe you guys are not together right now you could be going through like a physical okay separation here with this two of cups in reverse now we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. There is some kind of movement, communication coming in. Knight's all about pursuing. Sword is about truth and communication. So someone here could definitely be coming in out of nowhere because there is a desire to speak up about something. Um, you know, it feels to me like someone is very antsy. They're, they're having to come in Russian with this Knight of Swords because there's the energy of clearing the air, clearing the space, letting something be known. So if they haven't been speaking, they've been holding back or holding their tongue, here they are coming in very swiftly. Nine of Cups tells me that Scorpio, maybe they come in and it's something that you've been wanting to hear. Nine of Cups has a way of looking at, you know, looking at it being like a, your wish fulfillment, your dream come true. So maybe like whatever they're sharing with you, it's like, finally, this is what I've been wanting. Nine of Cups can also be a very selfish energy. So you may find that someone is just very selfish, all about themselves and their own needs. And so there could be some overindulging going on as well. Okay. Eight of Swords in the verse, your person's energy external. We have the Eight of Cups. We have that Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. So we got eight, eight, six, six. How funny. So, you know, Scorpio, the energy of whoever you're dealing with, it does feel like they're breaking away from some kind of overthinking, self-limiting thoughts, insecurities, thoughts, okay, about, you know, so something that just is not maybe even true, okay? Eight of Swords has a way of, you know, keeping yourself tied and bound to a situation here, and it may feel like it's out of your control, it's out of your hands, but it's a mental uh, energy, right? You can break out of this. Now, Eight of Swords and Verses tell me your person is working on releasing something, something that they've been in their head about and they haven't been able to change. Eight of Cups is definitely the energy of them not feeling happy about the current situation. Eight of Cups could be them walking away from someone or walking away from something in order to come to you because the Six of Cups is what they want. Six of Cups is definitely telling me that they have this, again, emotional connection with you and they want to explore it more, right? This is the energy of reconciling. So maybe it takes your person leaving another situation in order to reconcile and make things right with you because, well, the Six of Wands, how they see moving forward is winning you back. 
achieving some kind of greatness, accomplishing something here and being successful. So yeah, it may require your person to break out of some kind of fear, insecurity that they have, maybe walk away from something that is no longer serving the highest and greatest good so that they can have this reconciliation. And maybe if it's requiring your person to take action, right? Six of Wands is like, here I am, I'm accomplishing something, I'm successful, um, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to be seen a certain way. So Scorpio, let's take a look at the outcome. Three of Wands in reverse power in the verse magician so we got scorpio here it's your energy we got more gemini now with the tower in the verse it could be something your person has been avoiding for a really long time and it feels like well it's about time we address this three of wands in a verse you know scorpio this could be certainly you getting away maybe you're on the verge of moving on and they notice that like they know that you're moving on to something else something better and if they've been delaying action or avoiding taking action, now is the time. And with the magician, maybe it's requiring a person to like be that force of change. If they want to see some kind of change in a relationship, you got to take action on it. So yeah, it feels like reconciliation is on their mind. Maybe that's what they're wanting to manifest with you. And that could be an opportunity that, you know, you both could be successful in doing. So let's take a look. Let's see how this is all going to play out. The lovers, it comes down to making a choice, a decision about coming together. Are we going to do this or not? And maybe there's like a point in, in time where there's a small window of opportunity with the three of wands in a verse before someone moves on and sets sail, okay? I almost feel like that's why your person's coming in so quickly. Knight of Swords is like, you know what? This is someone moving gas to the pedal and they're coming in to communicate something, Let's take a look. The Lovers. Why is the Lovers card here for my Scorpios out there? Crossing that is a Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So the challenge is, is recognizing that something they had once invested in, maybe they poorly invested in, right? Maybe they didn't show up for you the way they should have. Seven of Pentacles in reverse could look like, you know, planting seeds, but then not being around to nurture it, not being around to water the seeds, right? And so someone is like in a place where they're having to make better decisions as to how they treat people that they they care about. So I almost feel like your person knows, Scorpio, that they should have been there for you. Or maybe they haven't. In a recent past, we have that two of wands and judgment. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in a verse, and a Page of Cups. So in a past, I definitely feel like someone just wanted to be on their own, single and free, no strings attached. That could be that Nine of Pentacles energy. Self-sufficient, you know, this is someone who didn't want to be responsible for anybody else. And it does feel like you may have required your person, Scorpio, to make big decisions about you and them, Ten of Cups, about living a happy, harmonious, happy life, right? Family. And so the two wands could definitely be a person indecisive, not really sure what they wanted because, well, nine of pentacles, it's just like them only thinking about themselves. And so it does feel like the ten of swords brought forth an ending. Something ended, maybe you didn't see it coming, okay? Maybe this ending happened because of someone's indecisive behavior. It also feels like with the page of cups, this could be an apology, but it also could be someone just making a lackluster love offer, right? Not really offering much um, regarding... You know, the Page of Cups could be just like a small offer, affection, but not really giving you what you need. And so you may have been at a point, Scorpio, in the past where you wanted solidarity. You wanted to know that you were emotionally secure with this person. Page of Cups is not feeling secure. So let's take a look. The current energy, the Knight of Swords could be coming in towards you, Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Two Wands. So there's that indecisive person, right, coming in, rushing in, all of these uh, missed opportunities here. Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles could mean that now they're all fired up. Now they recognize they've lost something that was of value to them, Pentacles. And so there's the energy of maybe starting something but not finishing it. And so now they're coming to communicate about it. Now, what it looks like to me is that they're coming to communicate, but there's still some indecision going on. Two of Wands, what do I want? Do I say or do I go? Do I want him or her? And I think that's what caused this um, breakdown in the relationship to begin with. Now we have the Seven of Wands and then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. It feels like, Scorpio, you're really going to be challenging your person to like stand up for what they want. Seven of Wands, if you want me, you fight for me, you, you do this, you take X, Y, and Z actions, right? Three of Cups in reverse, maybe it requires also your person to pick a person, pick a pick a path 
right? Because the two of wands and the three of cups could be other people, right? Maybe there is a third party or person is choosing between as to how they want to move forward and what they want with you. Maybe by making a decision regarding this third party, they'll be more clear about what they want regarding you. So seven of wands is like, if you want me, you fight for me. You push forward with something here. And maybe that's why your person is having to now walk away. Eight of Cups could be, you know, releasing themselves from something that maybe they were stuck to, tied to. Nine of Wands is there. Yeah. Temperance in a verse and a King of Cups. So Scorpio, I definitely feel like your person with time is going to recognize that they're having to take such action to show you that they're serious. They mean it. They mean it, right? They want this. Nine of Wands is perseverance. It's dedication. It's pushing for something. It's putting in the effort. But the temperance in the verse is telling me that maybe it's taking forever. Um, maybe they're having to get out of a situation, eight of swords in the verse, like literally free themselves from some kind of mental imposed self-imprisonment energy in order to take action that they want with you. I don't doubt that this person loves you. I think the King of Cups is how they see you, Scorpio. Obviously, there's a lot of love here. But there's something here about timing and maybe only time will show, but I definitely feel like with time, your person will be better able to release something that is keeping them stuck or held back in some way, whether it's mentally or physically with the Eight of Swords, in order for them to come to you with the Six of Cups. Definitely, I'm seeing the energy of reconciliation, but maybe there's something they're having to leave behind, Eight of Cups, walk away from in order for that reconciliation to happen. So what's in the cards is the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. There's definitely some kind of achievement happening here. With regard to a reconciliation, someone could definitely surprise you and come in and like, hey, look at me, I'm ready. Knight of Cups in the verse and the Judgment of Earth. Someone is going to recognize that they made some really bad, awful decisions regarding um, an offer of love. Maybe they promised you an offer of love and it never came through. I definitely feel like there's a decision your person's going back on regarding pursuing you in love. So if they stop taking action towards you, they stop calling and showing you love, there's some kind of revisiting of a decision. And I think the biggest thing is that Six of Cups, they, they're reminiscing of you. They're thinking about the past, present, present times, uh, precious times, right? Good times, memories, experiences. And the Six of Wands is like, I want to do it all over again, right? I want to experience all those things again. So as far as the outcome, there is something here that's manifesting. Um, again, after a period of avoiding some kind of big change coming in, it also feels like Scorpio, by you taking action and bringing forth some kind of change, perhaps related to leaving, moving on, it's going to stir your person to take action and manifest some kind of change that you've been wanting. Two of Swords in verse, someone is finally making a head of a heart decision. Maybe it requires cutting out something or someone completely from their life. Two of Swords, again, there's some indecision going on back and forth at a crossroads, but now making a decision and that's allowing, oops, something to manifest, the justice. Especially if something has been unfair, unbalanced, right? There's something that could be turning around, the tables could be turning. Maybe this is a Libra, maybe there's a Gemini. But it definitely feels like it's about time, three of wands. You know, you've been waiting for this for a really long time and something's finally manifesting regarding a situation that's been unfair, wronged, unbalanced, right, unreciprocated. So that is what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy this reading. I think the biggest challenge for you guys, just looking at the lovers and the seven of pentacles in verse, is that you're having to, you know, you're having to make this person show you, not just make the decision or say, you know what, I want to be with you with the lovers, but actually take the action and steps toward doing that, towards something long term. And that's what you want, right? You don't want just a love offer. You want this person to come in and um, take action for it to be intentional and meaningful, right? So that is what I'm seeing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are, you guys are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. And I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.